Hello and welcome to a new video and today we're taking another C2C train from Tilbury Town to London Liverpool Street and here on the map you can see our route today. Usually the trains of C2C are going to Fenchurch Street but due to constructions we are going to Liverpool Street instead today. Here we are at Tilbury Town Station and here we can see our train of the class 357-0 arriving. As I said, this is a train of the class 3570, so it's the oldest version. That means that this is a very cramped train with a very, very tight seat pitch. It is quite uncomfortable. I've rarely seen a train with a this tight seat pitch. The difference to the newer versions, the 3573, is huge. So the 3573 that I showed to you in a former video was quite nice and comfortable because the seats themselves are quite nice but the seat pitch on this version is so tight that it is quite hard for me to sit in the train and I am 1 meter 95 so if you're taller than 2 meters you will have a really big problem in this train so this will not become my favorite train but we are now on this London, Tilbury and South End line. First station after Tilbury Town is Grace. We are aligned to Upminster and the Romford branches off, but we are continuing via Purfleet and Rainham and Dagenham Dock to Barking. Here we can see the high speed line that a Eurostar is using going to the Eurotunnel to France. Shortly behind the station of Purfleet we are now going parallel with the high speed line. Soon after we are already reaching the suburbs of London and the big freight yard, the Barking Eurohub. And here we are crossing a quite new railway line to Barking Riverside. And after that we are reaching the big station of Barking where we are meeting the other part of the London Tilbury and Southland line and from here trains usually continue on to London Fenchurch Street. But due to constructions we had to go to Liverpool Street instead so we are continuing via the Forest Gate Junction and London Stratford to Liverpool Street. That was quite good for us because our next train is also starting at Liverpool Street and Liverpool Street and Fenchurch Street are only two stations of the underground apart. So Liverpool Street is used regularly as an alternative for Fenchurch Street for the trains of C2C when the station of Fenchurch Street is not reachable, for example due to constructions. So we have another important stop in between that we are usually not having and that is the station of Stratford which is a very important station in London and it is quite close to the London Stadium and the area of the London Olympics. Here in the background you can see the famous buildings of the London Olympics. And after that we are going through the suburbs of London, quite an urban landscape obviously. Mostly we can see modern buildings, quite a few old ones too. And shortly before reaching Liverpool Street we are going into a tunnel and also the station Liverpool Street is partly in a tunnel and we are also using the tunnel part of this terminus station. Here we are now reaching London Liverpool Street and as I said our next train will start here but we have a lot of time in between so we stored our luggage here at the station. It is possible but it's not too easy because there are quite high security standards so the luggage has to be checked like in an airport and it's also not too cheap but it is possible to store your luggage here at Liverpool Street. This is what we did and after that we went from Liverpool Street past Fenchurch Street to the London Tower and there we visited Wagamama's which is one of my favorite restaurants and this particular Wagamama's was the first one I've ever been to so I wanted to go back to this one. Then
There I had the quite spicy firecracker, which was very nice but extremely spicy. And after that we walked back to London and Liverpool Street, this time on another route with a stop at the Leiden Hall Market, which is a very, very interesting and beautiful market. Also a short scene of Harry Potter was filmed there, but also if you don't like Harry Potter, it is absolutely worth a visit. And now we went back to Liverpool Street and there the next video will start. Here you can see when the next video will be uploaded. And as always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link. And I hope to see you in my next video.